Uh, hey there, uh, welcome to Reykjavik Reipa's newscast. Uh, you can see, perhaps see that I'm a little bit sweaty and uh, like wet. It's not a, like a beautiful day today. But uh, I'm here in, in uh, Geldingardalur. It's a horrible name in any, in any aspect. And uh, it's not an interesting valley at all, actually. But if you perhaps follow me like this, you can see that there is actually an active volcano behind me right now. Uh, this happened this night. I want to tell you more about it. It's probably the most dramatic Reykjavik Greipas newscast that we have ever had. Uh, it's actually safe to go down there. The rescue teams are there and they, they're making sure that uh, people are not going too, too close to the lava. But yeah, let's go. I'm going to show you this. We're here right in front of this, uh, what we call in Icelandic, uh, Geldingar Kors, uh, or Geldingar Dals Kors. It's a very small valley actually, and it's like, uh, it's the best possible situation for the eruption in Iceland, uh, well, in this area at least, uh, because this lava is not going anywhere. You can see it here. It seems like a, like mud, but it's not really. It's like, it's the very small eruption actually. And you can see the crater over there. It, it feels like there's only one big crater and like uh, two smaller ones. It's incredibly hot. It's like, I can just show you. It's like, when I stand here, it's like, it's, it's literally like I'm standing in front like an oven. Uh, to go closer would be very uncomfortable. And you can see how slowly it's just crawling here. It will, of course, eat up the grass in the hand. Uh, so, but what happened yesterday, uh, it, it erupted at, right, just, just before nine o'clock in the evening. And nobody really noticed in the beginning until uh, like uh, at 9.30. Then the first, uh, they saw the, the red like, light in the, in the sky. And that meant that something was happening for sure. And then you saw, of course, our video. Uh, yesterday, they thought that there was a gas pollution. Uh, it is, there is a gas pollution. And the trick is, that if you come here, is to have the wind in your back. So you can see how the wind is going over this direction. It means that on the other direction, it's very likely that you have, will, will be exposed here to gas pollution. So if you even think about coming here, which is before that just a hard hike, yes, it's, it's kind of hot here, then keep this in mind, it's, it's, it can be dangerous. We have to show them the helicopters here. They're like, there are two helicopters all around us right now. It can be hard to talk. Uh, the crater here is not that big. It's, it's actually incredibly small. Uh, those that saw the, the eruption at Fimmerhaus, uh, they know they, th this is very similar to that. Uh, but the, the lava is not, uh, it's not that much. It's like, it's only like, it's like, it's becoming like a pool of lava in this valley. And in the end, where we are walking right now, this will consume that, the lava. Uh, they think that this volcano will erupt for at least days, uh, perhaps weeks. But they are not sure if... Yeah, I don't know. It's a field day with the helicopters. They're taking away our piece here. Uh, so... There are a lot of people here. They hiked here. It takes hours to hike here. Uh, luckily for me and Art, we, uh, we, are, we have a press pass. So it only took us like one hour. But if you just, if you are even thinking about hiking here, uh, start off like, if you have ever hiked before, then sure, it's okay. If you haven't, just don't do it. Uh, also take with you food, water, uh, all the clothes that you can uh, take. <laughs> and, uh, and just be careful about how you step, how you walk, because this is not an easy, easy route. Uh, it takes, like I said, hours, and it can be dangerous if you are, uh, if you if you're not experienced enough. To be honest, uh, also the weather, the weather here is actually fine. 
Uh, but when you're in the, up there on the mountains, the weather is like very windy, very wet, and just it beats you down very slowly. <coughs> wow. And now just do this. I mean, what a beauty. I have to say that, like, this is, this is a very beautiful uh, eruption. It's like, it's not the, the harsh, brutal eruption that we have so often seen. It's very slow. It's like, you can see these red rivers here. I even saw like a waterfall that reminded, my, reminded me on Gullfoss uh, in Iceland. And you can even see one there. It's like, it's like every, everything is just so dramatic. <laughs> So, this is the biggest crater, obviously. Uh, it's a new mountain, I guess. I mean, we will need to name this something. <laughs> uh, not sure what that will be. It's incredible to hear the, the sound from the volcano. It's almost like a combination of uh, like the ocean and, and, and like some brutality, like wet brutality. Uh, the craters are obviously the biggest one, two. Uh, the smaller one doesn't seem that violent. But this one, we've been watching it for like an hour or two now, and it obviously it goes stronger like for a minute, and then it goes back to kind of normal. Uh, this is this is safe <laughs> in a way, <laughs> but uh, it's it's interesting. This is definitely what you would call a touristic uh, volcano in Iceland, uh, as long as you mind the, the gas pollution, and it's just breathtaking in so many ways. Uh, I mean, I don't know what to say more. I mean, the, the images from art will definitely say, tell the rest of the story. Uh, I just want to remind you, of course, on our, uh, to subscribe uh, our sponsors, which is, of course, Instock Beer. Uh, and visit them, instockbeer.com. And follow us at grapeman.is. And yeah, if you like it, then just give you a high five and subscribe or something. Uh, and yeah, and keep in mind, if you're going to hike here, uh, you, you really need to be careful about it uh, because the, the way people get themselves hurt is getting to the volcanoes, not by dying in a, in a volcano, you know. <laughs> there are not many that happened like that. See you later. Enjoy.